Clover's range of margarines and spreads. Classic spread. Mama Bake. Margie, how do you know what we like? I know someone who knows. Spread the Margie love. Next up on the menu for the day is empanadas. I've actually never really heard of that word before. Now these are like meaty like pies formed in a half moon shaped and fried or baked. The dough is usually made from scratch, but today we're making them with bread slices and spreading them with Clover Classic Spread to give it a delicious flavor. So if you're looking for a quick and easy to make snack to enjoy somewhere in between lunch and dinner, then this classic bread empanada recipe is just for you. And today we are joined by our kitchen fairy, the one, the only, Nicole Snelling, everybody. I'm pretty sure you might be confused because you hardly ever see her on screen, but she is the lady who ensures that everything operates well in the kitchen. Now, Nicole, this is very interesting for me. Um, so we mentioned that usually you make it with dough, but now we're using bread. Yes, well, the bread is a shortcut, you know. Mm. Um, empanada directly translates to um, embreaded. Mm. So you could basically fill it with anything, but today we, we're keeping it nice and simple. So Clay made this beautiful sofrito. Mm. We are going to pop that into a bowl. You could use any chopped up veggies, corn, peas, carrots, Nicole, would you say you that a sofrito is basically like chakalaka that went to a private school? You could say that. Okay. You could say that. But because I think our chakalaka is actually the private school one. Oh, fair enough. Oh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and we've got mince in here. You can add any any meat filling. If you've got leftover roast, you've got leftover um, uh, mince or spaghetti even. Mm. Just pop it all into here. It's, it's a nice filler, you know. Mm. So we're just going to mix this up. We've got a white sauce. If you don't know how to make a white sauce, you can buy them readily available in the shops or go onto our website. We've got loads of recipes for white sauce on there as how well. How do you make your white sauce, just briefly? Uh, so you start off with a roux, butter and flour in a pan and then you slowly pour in your milk and you just whisk, 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 whisk until it thickens up nicely. Mm. Um, I would say about a tablespoon of butter, a tablespoon of uh, flour, mm -hmm. a cup of milk. Good recipe over there. Good to go. Yep. Now we are using Clover Classic. Mm -hmm. We're using some beautiful spread here and it's just to um, moisten up the bread so no one wants a dry empanada. Of course not. And I hope that you butter your bread on both sides, okay? Not for this one. But oh, you not could, for this you one could specifically. Totally, you could totally. Okay. I'm going to cut the crust off now um, and then we're going to fill it up. So it's just a little triangle that we're going for, mm. which is going to be ideal. So let me just do this one. It's a nice snack as I've mentioned like in between lunch or dinner it's quick and easy to make and um, mm -hmm. by using your leftover ingredients from the previous night or the previous dinner whatever it 100%. may be. 100% so this is does come from a very like Spanish Mexican side of things mm -hmm. so I've actually served this one with a beautiful Mexican salsa oh, I so see. if you want a bit of Mexican flavors in here then all you would do is Add some cumin, coriander, you could do some chopped um, fresh coriander as well in mm. there. Whatever you have in the fridge, that's what's so nice about this, it's so versatile. So you just take a little excess and you pinch it close. You ideally want to do this with fresh bread. Of course. Yeah. I think you just want to eat fresh bread in general, regardless of, <laughs> yeah. of what you're it's making just, in the kitchen. The fresher, the, the fresher it is, the easier it's going to pinch together there. So as you can see, they're kochle. Very simple. You just pop them on the tray, put them in the oven 15, 20 minutes till they're nice and golden brown. And there, we, there you have it. This That's is the it. finale, nice and crispy. And, and the entire family can basically, you know. Exactly. And it, it's, I mean, who doesn't want another reason to use your leftovers and not eat the exactly. same food again, right? We don't waste food in this house. Are you listening? <laughs> now, if you want to get your hands on this recipe, make sure to visit expressoshow.com. But have you got some great recipes to share with us? Clover is giving you the chance to win a Clover Love Pack hamper every day. All you have to do is share your lockdown recipe inspiration with us by replying to the Clover competition post on Expresso's Facebook page. Simply post a picture of your recipe creation. Use the hashtag Expresso Show and tell us which Clover product you use to create your dish. It's that simple. There will be one winner every day of the week until the 1st of May. So get your pots ready to cook and bake up a storm and today's competition closes at midnight. T's and C's can be found on expressoshow.com. Mm. Can I just take a bite quickly? Go for it. Tell me how it is. Is it good? 
It's so delicious. But you know what I would add? What? Cheese. Oh, I add cheese okay, and everything. Yeah, no, cheese, <laughs> cheese and everything is a great idea. Okay. Thank you so much, Nicole. This was so much fun. Very simple, very quick. Once again, if you want your hands on the recipe, make sure to visit expressoshow.com. Clover's range of margarines and spreads. Classic spread. Mama Bake. Margie, how do you know what we like? I know someone who knows. Spread the Margie love. <laughs> <laughs>